the winner of the Republican nomination for governor of the great state of Missouri. Yet, here we are, and once again I say, I should not be standing here as your nominee. Fifteen months ago, people said we couldn't win. Our own polling showed us 35 points and an underdog. Heck, just four or five months ago, we were down 35 points. But we believed in our cause, but more importantly, you believed in us. And so many people around Missouri that are here tonight, including our veterans, our firefighters, our policemen, farmers and ranchers, they all believed in us too. So we ignored the naysayers, we traveled the state, we showed up everywhere, we met and listened to tens of thousands of Missourians. And tonight, we show that hard work still pays off. And that what you do is way more important than what you say. And we proved, we proved once again the American dream is still alive. I would not be standing here today without the grace of God and my family. My mom, who is our family's hero, and my siblings, John, Maureen, and Peggy, who are here tonight. Kathy is fighting somebody named Debbie down in the Florida panhandle somewhere. <laughs> my wife, Claudia, she has been an incredible partner on this crazy journey. She has been by my side. She's been by my side every step of the way. Nobody has worked harder. Will she make a great first lady or what? Our four kids, Carol, Michael, Maggie, and Claire, thank you for the sacrifices you have made to help us get here today. And the new guy, our son-in-law, Scott, I'm sure none of you signed up for all the craziness of a campaign. I also have to recognize the Sinclair family. My life would be very different today without the years of their guidance. I've been blessed to have a great team. Thank you to Derek Coates, our campaign manager, for leading a great campaign. And Adam Gresham, who's been my partner in leadership in this journey ever since I've been in office. Every single member of our team, both on the campaign side and the official side, both past and present, is what made me get here today. So thank them so much. We've also been humbled to have the support of over 25 organizations representing everyday Missourians who are firefighters, policemen, farmers, truckers, workers in healthcare, construction industry, and small business leaders. These, these organizations stepped up, and we would not be here without them, period, exclamation part. Our endorsed partners got me to this stage today. We've had campaign volunteers in every county of the state who've supported us by putting up signs, speaking at events, and knocking tens of thousands 20,000th door this weekend in Lee Summit. Thank you to all of our volunteers. <laughs> Claudia and I have lifelong friends who have volunteered their time to help us. Our farm family has helped us keep our farm running. We have friends who have given time away from their work and families to drive our campaign bus. Old and new friends who helped us hold events. And one in particular who drove down from Michigan to work every day on the trail for us for over 70 days. He's a hot mess. <laughs> I am so proud of the race we ran, but this campaign has also exposed some deep divisions within our party. So let me say this. The future of Missouri is too important for a Republican Party to be reduced to finger-pointing and name-calling. We have to join together if we're going to defeat our common enemy. And make no mistake, our com common enemy is the bad policies pushed by Washington, D.C., the dangerous progressive extremists that coddle criminals and make our streets more dangerous, the open border policies that flood our country with illegal immigrants and fentanyl, and yes, the dependency on government that deflates people's drive and threatens their futures. We have a job to do, and we're going to do it together. That starts with me. I want to congratulate my opponents for running a spirited campaign. I've received calls tonight, very gracious calls, I might add, from Secretary Ashcroft and Senator Eigel. 
And my commitment to them is we're going to govern for all Missourians and we're going to do it conservatively. I think the last 35 years as a small business owner and the past 14 years of my public service career have proven that I will work with anyone who has good ideas to make our state safer, stronger, and better. As long as we end up with a common sense conservative solution, we will govern. As governor, I plan to get things done for the people of Missouri and there's so much to do. Throughout this campaign, we traveled hundreds of thousands of miles and we met thousands of Missourians who have shared with us their stories, their hopes, their dreams, and yes, the ways that government has let them down. We are, they are not looking, they are not looking to Jefferson City to solve all their problems, but they know there are common sense solutions that would improve their lives. We've heard from too many families who don't feel safe in their own neighborhoods. Missouri must send a message to criminals that you're not welcome here.